Yeah. I couldn't get over it. I thought I thought that was a piss take. Yeah. And then I actually looked in. Like I thought they were just like putting it in for the sake of, um, like just for story. Yes. Did you get me? And then I actually looked into it. I was like, holy fucking shit. Do I amuse you? I'm funny. 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 Out. Funny. 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 Like I'm a fucking clown. Are you? I love Joe Pesci. <laughs> like I'm a fucking clown. It's hard to believe that like. He went from doing that, like Goodfellas, to Home Alone in the same year. Yeah. There's um, there's a series. Oh shit! Uh, I don't know, they d- there's a few series of it. It was like uh, the toys that made us and the movies that made us that Netflix had done them, and it was actually the movies that made us. Home Alone is the first one that's on it, and they're talking about it. And Joe <laughs> Pesci was saying that they was really upset. So when they went to get Daniel Stern for the movie, he wanted more money. But they couldn't afford it. Yeah. They couldn't afford what he wanted, so they had hired some other some other actor instead. And I can't remember the original studio that was doing it. And then all of a sudden, I think Twentieth Century then took over because they wouldn't give them more money for it. Mm. And then eventually, the other studio took over, and Joe Pesci was like, "Get rid of fucking him and get Daniel Stern." Yeah. And then they were like, "Yeah, well, we have the money to do it now, so we can actually get Daniel Stern." They worked on a movie before, mm. and Joe Pesci was like, "I'm not doing it unless he's doing it with me." Nice. I was like, "Oh, oh that was so cool." So this is game over, by the way. Oh, thank God. Uh, this is what this, <laughs> this is what happens if we get killed by a demon. We get. I just, I just realized something. You hit the reset, didn't you? Yeah. Of course I did. So I'm showing you that's how the bad that's how the bad end plays out. Well, well, I'm so close. You are without missing a beat as well. <laughs> and then like, she's gonna walk away and shit. I'm just gonna go and stand in the closet of shame. Yeah, that's fine. You work away. You do you, fam. So. That's a good distance. It is. Well, that was after. um, That was after uh, getting the next part. Starting off the next part of of whatever mission we're doing as well. So. Uh, but yeah, Mame Mystique was got was opting in for that guy because he had no fighting skill at all, which is a bit of a shame. So I will not be uh, taking. I can't. I don't even remember the character's name. But uh, yeah, I will be not opting for him in future. I might be ever switching over to the next character now, though, because the next mission that we're going to do uh, as part of our you know, new career as a terrorist is that we're going to uh, unleash some uh, some truths on the people of Omicron. We are about to uh, basically get a data file of Buzz. And uh, basically, uh, hack into the television you, uh, system and play it, and see if you can start recruiting people to our cause. So we are literally just like literally dropping some hot Bowie uh, footage on everybody and seeing how it lands, which is you know it's, it's a bold strategy. I like to, I'd like to see how it plays off. Oh yes, here we go. So this is another character. This is a character we can uh, we can jump into as well. So you just you like you. You can't just pick anybody. There will be certain people around that are just like like loitering, and those are the ones you can you can hijack. And as you can tell from his appearance, this guy is a fucking unit. Like he's he's one of the better ones to jump in as. And uh, yeah, the nurse is gone then. That's why she's translucent like that. So she'll she'll disappear once uh once we leave the room here. It's weird that how, how that happens. You swear, like, okay, they'll, they'll go back uh, to normal. Yeah, you think so, but no. Like, literally, once you ring, jump into someone's body, they disappear. It's, it's it. almost like you kill them. But, like, they haven't, like, said as said as much, if you know what I mean. Yeah. But, yeah, so this guy is an absolute fucking tank. Like, he's got the, like, a great load of health. Uh, there's the stats there. So, yeah, so. And he definitely is a tank. Mm. And again, as I mentioned from the last time, like we met, we we caught, we fought one of these guys in um in the uh, fighting tournament, and yeah, but he's basically like the equivalent of a Nordy in this game. Like they are from the north. <laughs> that's how that's how his people are described. I'm surprised there wasn't a comment like about that. <laughs> you okay, Amy? Just having fun there? Yeah. Wait, is it, are those the ones I'm using? 
Why? Because you're saying that. Alright then. I'm gonna test fuck you. Is the one just about wrestling? I don't think so. No, but I'll, I'll find. Bear in mind that, by the way, these, this, this is the Christmas I was using for like the quiz nights I've been doing on the Madness channel. So you've probably been asked some of these already. Maybe. Maybe. Okay. Alright, Foxy. Yes. Who was the original presenter of the Generation game? Starred with Nick Mohammed in the 2020 TV comedy series Intelligence. It was on Sky One, yeah. and he I was a part of a very popular American TV series sitcom. So that just had a reunion show. Oh, okay. And down, down, down. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
No. Oh no, she was in a different film, sorry. I like the way you're thinking though, you're right with thinking of a blonde actress. She was Bridget Jones. Oh, fuck what I am. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> that name. That's that the one. one, yeah. In Maleficent, in the Maleficent films, sorry, mm -hmm. who plays Aurora? Sleeping Beauty. Who plays Shit, uh, I don't know her name. I really don't. No. She has a very famous sister. She's also an actress. Who was in the movie um, Man on Fire. No. Well, her sister was Dakota. Fanny? Yeah. Like, uh, Fuck. I, I'm actually. I won't be surprised if you don't get this one. Actually, mm. she's not really done an awful lot. Ellie Fanny. Okay. Uh, which series of animated films features the kingdom of Far Far Away? <laughs> <laughs> His boat laugh. Uh, yes. There we go. <laughs> Anne Hathaway and Robert De Niro co-starred in which work-based 2015 comedy film? Oh, uh, Bad Girl. No, no, that's no, work based. Yeah, that's that was the one with Zach Efron. Sorry, uh, oh shit. Um, They're normally unpaid. Yeah, Interns. Here you go. <laughs> I love that. I love that's how. I, that's how I got it. Not from actually not watching the movie. Young actor Harvey Spencer Stevens plays Jamie and Thorne in which classic 1976 horror film? Say again. Sorry. Okay. Uh, young actor mm -hmm. Henry or uh, Harvey Spencer Stevens plays Damien Thorne in which classic 1976 horror film? Fuck. Gregory Peck plays yeah. his dad. Yeah, yeah, I can't remember the name of the. There's an awful lot of Rottweilers in this movie. It's actually an excellent movie. Probably one of the best beheading scenes ever. I, I, there will be blood keeps popping in my head. It's a wrong answer, though. Yeah, something like that. The omen, the omen, yeah. yeah, that's it. Oh, this is a good one. Which actor said "Call off Christmas" in the 1991 film Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves? <laughs> um, no, fucking, um, Kevin no, no, he, no, he was Robin Hood. He was Robin Hood. No. Uh, uh, Alan Rickman? That's Alan Rickman! <laughs> Which day? Call off Christmas. I don't like it. Call off Christmas. You won't get oh, uh, David Bowie's here, by the way. Yeah, hold on. <laughs> According to the song from Bed Knobs and Broomsticks, which street is where the riches of ages are stowed? I'd actually be surprised if either one of you Yeah, no. This. No. Portobello Road, Portobello Road, with the street where the rich and the babies. That's where the mushrooms live. So. Anything and everything. Is he just wearing a cod piece? Yeah. Okay. And he has two, ha two faces. Okay. Alright. And the woman has hooves. It's a weird one. This is probably the weirder of the three songs. Black and white. We did. And then this. Fit. Apparently, this is how people dance in the car. Like his ankle just twisted in a, in a way that couldn't possibly twist. <laughs> I love how you're mesmerized by the cut piece. This is remind me of um, in Rick and Morty mm. when it's a uh, when it's fart. Yeah. Goodbye, Moon Man. <laughs> <laughs> I said goodbye, Moon Man. That was the same fucking tune, actually. Yeah. What hair? What's the hair color of the Who Framed Roger Rabbit character, Jessica? Red. Or they went with the you know with like orange or something. Oh, that's right, you're right. Yeah. Oh, shit. It's the potluck. Okay. Which real life couple starred in the 1967 film adaption of The Taming of the Shrew? Taming of the Shrew. Yeah. 
true. No. 1967, Richard Burton and Dame uh, Elizabeth Taylor. Okay. Who wrote the 2018 horror novel The Outsider? No. That was Clyde Barker, it's not. It's not Stephen King, is it? It is Stephen King. Tut. <laughs> I love Stephen King. Don't disrespect the King, man. I, know, I, love that, I love that book he wrote where he's a frustrated writer living in mid-America and horrors appear. Love that Classic. book. Classic. <laughs> in which country is the TV series The Good Karma Hospital set? Good Karma. The Scrubs? No. That's Sacred Heart. Oh. Grey's Anatomy? No, that's Seattle General. ER? That's Chicago. Right. The Good Karma Hospital. Good Karma. Where, where would you really kind of like Karma? India. India is correct. <laughs> <laughs> All right, no, I, I can't step to this. Fair enough. I love that. I love that your, your answer was a question. <laughs> <laughs> what is India? The, the preparation method of cooking prawns in length, in half length ways, and flattening it out is named after which insect? You can also do this to a chicken. Named after an insect? Yeah. I assume, I assume butterfly. Butterfly is correct. Yeah. It's butterfly prawns or butterfly chicken. Mm. What? Four. Ooh. No. What word can mean both a group of eggs and a whole tightly? So it's a collective noun for eggs, essentially. I didn't so, know this. Yeah. A snuggle? No. No. It's a whole time. Yeah. <laughs> That's no. called a struggle cuddle. Oh, okay. <laughs> struggle snuggle. Sorry, yes, of course. Very different type of eggs. And... Um, I don't know. The answer a clutch? Is a clutch is correct! A group of clutch eggs, of eggs is yeah. called a clutch. I think a lot of people call it a clutch of different items, so it's kind of, I, I was too fixated on the eggs parts. So I've, ne I've never heard anyone say, Like a say, clutch of oh, straws. Clutch of eggs. Yeah, a clutch of oh, straws. Shit, actually, yeah, yeah. That. That's the same. Like. No, but like, if I was to say, I've clutched the straws, it means I'm grabbing the straws. Yes. I'll clutch that. Yeah, no, I get that, yeah. I'm just actually looking at ones that I think right now. You can hit me with those science questions. Science, it. science and geography are my my two decent uh, strengths. Geography, I don't know why, because I don't go anywhere. Pots and pans. Oh hell yeah! Okay, we're going to this just for shits and giggles. What's the subtitle of the second novel in the Harry Potter series? That's the subtitle. Yeah. That's correct. Mm. Which children's play structure takes its name from the play Peter Pan? Neverland? No. Nope. What was it again, sir? So, what, which children's play structure takes oh. its name from the play Peter Pan? Uh, oh, something like monkey bars or something. Nope. No. No, the, the name of the actual play. Oh. That's what it is. Oh, where we literally were just there to watch his... Yeah. Group. Okay, Grant. We did literally just watch a bit of Bowie, yeah. Grant, okay. Did you give up? Yeah. You're going to kick yourself when I tell you this. The Wendy house. <laughs> it's literally, Fair enough. It's literally the playhouses that people build. It's, it's oh, yeah, the Wendy house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What type of food is pottage? Pottage? Yeah. No. It's a pig soup. <laughs> You're a tick soup. Pancetta is what type of meat? Pancetta? Sounds like a ham. Technically, yes, but... There's... Like a salami? No. You're, you're going further away from it then. Mm. Pancetta is actually pork belly. Ah, I see. So it was ham. Yeah, but yeah. <laughs> I know. Yeah, but I'm technically missing. the correct answer is pork belly. Fair enough. Uh, numbers, no, potluck. UK. Fuck off the UK. <laughs> no one knows what the UK. Musical instruments, so you need to be able to look at the pictures. Jeez, 
for easy ones, some of these are actually quite difficult. Yeah, you should do the hard ones. Well, I meant to cheat. Is that your writing? Yeah. Okay. Like I said, I've, I've, I've used some of these those quiz books for the... Uh, well, the funniest part about this is... Nice. Do you know what, actually? I'm going to go on to hard. Yeah, they should. They, they have it there. Art and literature. <laughs> I think we're going to pass on that one. Food and drink. Hot look. History. Ooh, ooh, no. <laughs> Let's not. <laughs> I'm looking at the answers, Nate, and I'm like, oh, fuck no. Need the challenges, Amy. The actual index is on the back of the, on the back page. You want to find one in particular. The challenges. Science fiction. Oh, oh yes, it should be good. Okay. Right. I need to find out. So, what page are you on? So this is just us getting starting off our quest again. So we've seen this part already. Okay. Oh, and then rock and pop music will be next. Nice. Right? Okay. What was the name of the icy planet on which the rebels made their base and the Emperor Strikes Back? Wait, repeat that, sir. The icy planet what in Star the... Wars. I will repeat the question. <laughs> <laughs> what was the name of the ice planet, not icy planet, mm. of the ice planet on which the oh. rebels made their base in the Empire Socks Strikes Back? Hoth. Hoth is correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Foxy. What do you mean? I'm no, not Foxy, John he's Foxy. Uh -huh. Oh. Rob Grant and Doug Naylor created which a long running sci fi series? Shown on the BBC. Mm, it's either Doctor Who or Babylon 5. It's neither. Oh no, not Babylon 5. Fucking Blake 7. Neither. Ooh. That was not a wrong one. Torchwood? No. Yes. Rob Names. Grant and Doug Naylor created which long running sci fi series? It was shown on the BBC. I had to put my money on Blake 7. To Red Dwarf? Red Dwarf is correct. See, I always keep doing. I keep forgetting that's technically sci-fi. I, I actually don't think either of these are going to get this. We'll say it anyway. Who wrote the novel on which the 1955 film *The Island Earth* was based? Who wrote the novel? Yeah. Mm. I'll be honest. I can't see either of these getting Ars this. No, it wouldn't be Orson Welles, I presume. No. 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 Nice style. No. no. The correct answer was Raymond F. Jones. Not a fan of his now, Amy, I'll be honest. Yeah, not not, much, not much of his style. Don't think anyone is. Mm. What was the name of James Callis' character in the 2004 TV remake of Battlestar Galactica? Oh, I, I never watched it. I watched like an episode of it and that was it. Dr. Could... Gallus Baltar. Mm. Battlestar. Uh, five. I'm gonna skip the next one. I, I've been trying to. I've been trying to check out Babylon Five. To be fair. I'm gonna skip the next one again, so you're gonna get it. Okay. Um, all right. The 2004 film, The Chronicles of Riddick, mm. was a sequel to which 2000 film? Pitch Black. That's mm. correct. I've been following that like for years. <laughs> like, I even went to see Riddick. He's even played the games, which are apparently pretty decent. Butcher Bay. Yeah. Butcher Bay is good. This is this is kind of niche. This one is because I don't think it gets mentioned that often. Uh huh. In Guardians of the Galaxy films, what's the first name of Peter Quill's mother? Oof. That now that is niche. That's very. Niche. That's very niche. Neville. Which is it? Neville. No, but you're kind of on the right track for nicheness. Like, Madeline. No. Um. She's also the name of a character in Grey's Anatomy. That really does narrow it down. <laughs> Meredith. Oh, Meredith, yeah. Oh, there's a homeless man. Hey, oh, oh, hold on, actually. Oh, I can't pronounce that man's name. Was okay, it? So it doesn't matter, I can't pronounce it. J. Michael Straczynski? No. Damn it. Um, <laughs> how is Mr. Griffin referred to in the title of an early sci-fi novel? How is he referred to as? You should have gotten that straight away. Mr. Griffin. I'm not sure I follow. How is he referred to as? Yeah, in the title of an early sci-fi novel. Would you prefer if I called him Dr. Griffin? Technically. 
Non. Parti. Non, on dirait un peu de I Okay. Who directed? No, 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 give us the answer. Oh, I will fucking wait. No, give us the answer. No, no, we're going to wait. Fuck you. Who directed the 2019 film Terminator Dark Fate? Oh, some prick, probably. But it's correct. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> some Michael Bay. Tim Miller. Tim Miller, whatever. He's working on a Terminator movie after two, therefore it was shit. Oh. And we have a shooting scene. So, oh, so well, I'll take a stop there.